Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove arm fat in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into duplicating of layers, making selection with the use of a select subject, applying fill, and applying liquify. So let's get started! So here in our document, I prepare here an image of this woman, and you will notice here that she has a thick arms. And our goal here is to lessen the fats or the muscles. The first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of our background layer. So to do that, going on to the Layers panel, click on the background layer to make it active, and then press Ctrl plus J. So that's the duplicated layer. Now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to make selection around our subject. So to do that, with that duplicate layers, copy, active, go to the menu bar, go to Select, then choose on Subject. Well, Photoshop will automatically create a selection around our subject. And there you go. Now, let's create a layer of the subject of its own. So, to do that, and with that duplicated layer selected, press Ctrl plus J. So, once I did that, we already have this subject layer. So, let's name this one as the subject. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Well, moving back, now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to remove the subject from this duplicated layer. So to do that, I'm going to bring back the selection of the subject. So to bring back the selection, all I have to do is to press Ctrl, hold it, and then click on the thumbnail layer of the subject layer. So you, you will notice here that the selection is back. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to expand the selection. So to do that, I'm going to the menu bar. Go to select, then choose on modify. Then find expand. So this expand selection will appear. I'm going to expand the pixels by around 30 pixels. Then hit OK. Now as you have noticed, the selection is expanded. All right. Now with this selection, let's hide this subject layer first for us to see the outcome. And then I'm going to select on this layer over here. With this selection, I'm going to the menu bar. Go to edit then choose on fill. Okay, so this fill will appear under the contents. Set this one to content aware. For the blending, mode to normal, opacity to 100%. And once all set, hit OK. So once I did that, you will notice here that the background is totally clear. Now, let's make the subject layer visible. Okay, so going on to the layers panel, from that subject layer, just click this one to make it visible. There you are. Now we have the selection here, right? So press Ctrl plus D to deselect. All right. Now the next step here is we're going to use the liquify to remove those fats or those thick muscles. All right. So to do that, from that subject layer selected, go to the menu bar, go to filter, then choose on liquify. All right. So this window will appear. Going on to the toolbar, find the first tool. That's the forward warp tool. Click that or you can just press W for the shortcut key. Right. Well, as you have noticed here, the brush is much big, so we can just increase that by pressing close bracket key, and we can also decrease that by pressing the open bracket key. Okay. All right. So I'm going to set this brush size to something like this, and we may now start use the forward warp tool to make her arms thinner. Something like this. All right. Also here. All right, let's also apply it on the other arm. So as you have noticed here, her arms are much, are that big. Okay, so let's do it something like this. Let's make it slim. All right, okay, so let's also include those fats on her belly. All right, okay, so don't make it much thin. Don't make it look so exaggerated. All right. Now that's it. Uh, now that seems fine. All right. So once once you're good with it, what? now don't forget to hit OK over here. All right. Click this one. And there you go. OK. So we're good with it. So let me show you the before and after. So this one is the before and this one is the after. And that is how to remove arm fat in Photoshop. 